Make sure you have that, especially if your head would look like this once you're lying on your back. If your ribs are not touching the, the ground beneath you, and um, to bring the ribs down, your chin is gonna come up a lot. You're going to just make a pillow to be adequately aligned. And I'm just gonna keep that pillow right now, right here. I don't necessarily need it. You're gonna bend your knees, feet are flat on the ground, and we're gonna do something, it's called the paper lift. Uh, this is from my teacher, Irene Dowd. As you're lying here, you want to align your nose to go straight up to the ceiling. You don't want your chin to go straight up to the ceiling or too far down. It's the nose pointing straight up. And one thing that helps me here is to think the back of the neck is as long as the front of the neck. So we're not caught here. We're, we're, we're assuming the back and the front are equally long and that'll help. And then also assuming that the collarbones are as long, equally long on either side and the front of my shoulder is as long as the back of my shoulder, as wide as the back of my shoulder. That should allow, if there was any tension uh, in the front, in the chest area, that that tension just released out and be released away. And then what we're gonna do is very gently starting to press the skull, the head, right where it is on the towel or on your pillow back into the mat. And for, for the first couple of times, actually take your fingertips and just gently touch um, the either, either side on the back of your neck. And as you push the skull back, um, if you, you should feel there's a little hardening, a little engagement probably happening, hopefully happening in the neck muscles in the back. So that's their responsibility. These muscles, the back of the neck muscles, are pulling your head back in space. Do a couple more here. Notice if the ribs pop up as you're pulling your skull back, you want to use the neck muscles to pull that back. Three more. And then we're gonna think, I'm gonna lift my head up. You should feel this right in the front of the neck. My, 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 my hair, my scalp, scalp is still on the, on the, to on the towel. I'm gonna lift tiny bit and release. And lift tiny bit. So if you need your fingers here, you should feel this already. And it should feel almost like, wow, my head is really heavy. And it is. It's 12, 10, 12, 14 pounds, depending on how big your head is. So tiny little lifts, and this is just enough to maybe slip a slice of a sheet of paper from underneath your head. This is why I think I, you know, Irene calls it the paper lifts. It's tiny. It's not about lifting the chin up to the ceiling, right? Not at all. Because guess what that is? Lifting the chin to the ceiling. It's our desk job posture, desktop job posture for our head and neck. And this is again, the back of the neck is too short and the front of the neck is too long. We want to tone the front of the neck and lengthen and release and unload the back of the neck. We'll do this again. So aligning your chin, nose goes straight up. The back of the neck is as long as the front of the neck. And I'm gonna just think I'm lifting a tiny bit up and lower that down. Lift a tiny bit up and lower that down. Now let's turn the head as much as you can to the left. And we're going to just do tiny lifts lifting the cheekbone up and lower down. Again, it's paper lifts. My ear is still touching the 
towel. Tiny lift. Lots of work here on the side of the neck. Slowly lower. Take your time. Let it fully release. We'll do five here. Now on this fifth one, we're going to gently lift the head, bring it back to center. Feel this. Does it feel like your right side of the neck is much longer than your left side? All right, we'll take the head to the right. Left side of the neck, it needs to work. Just pick up that head. Tiny. Again, your ear, your scalp, your hair is still on the pillow. This is not a big move. We'll get there, I promise. One more time, tiny lift, and then turn your head back to center and release. And just check out how that feels, lying on your back. Take a breath, let it settle, maybe close your eyes, feel. And then maybe come up for a moment and just see how does the range of motion feel. And it's not always just about an instant increase in range of motion, but I feel it's, it's yeah, if you checked in, if you tuned in, you might feel there is just a little more ease, maybe less cracking in your neck. 